Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add music to the designs that you're creating in Canva. I will also show you how to add your own music to your Canva library so they can use that in your designs as well. Let's get started. First, you will want to go to canva.com. And if you do not have an account, you want to go ahead and create an account first. And it's free to create an account. They also have a pro version. Uh, but for this walkthrough, uh, you'll be able to do this with a free account. And once you create your account, uh, you will have options of different things that you can create and design. There are a couple options here at the top. And then if you want to see all of the designs that you can create, you can go to create a design and then choose what you would like to create. You will be able to add music to uh, any of the designs that you create. So go ahead and just select one and then uh, it will open up in a new window. And so I've got a presentation here. Now you can start with a template if you want and then just to put something on the page. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the uh, first uh, presentation they have there. And so now we've got a Canva design that we're working on. In order to upload uh, music to this design, you want to go over here to the left hand side where it says audio and then it will show you the different audio options you have. And some of them if are free, as you'll see uh, marked here. And then if it has a little crown next to it, that's uh, the pro version, so you have to have the uh, paid version of Canva to use those sounds. You can also use those designs if you pay for the design itself, even though you have the free version of Canva. But let's just go ahead and use the first one that shows up here. And then in order to uh, add it to your design, you just click it and it would add. Now it will start playing automatically. In order to pause or play it, you can go up here to the play button and uh, that will uh, pause it. Now you can see it shows the entire uh, audio file here at the top. The portion that is colored, that's the portion that will play during your design. And so you can drag this, so just click it and drag it around and then you can hit play and pause to hear what it sounds like. Uh, if you would like to um, preview these instead of adding them each time, all you have to do is just uh, hover over it and then go ahead and just hit this play button right next to it. So let's just grab one here and there's a play button that shows up. I can just click that. And that will let me preview the music before I put it into my design. So now that I've got the music in here, uh, you can again choose the different place in the audio that you would like it to play. You can also adjust the volume. You can mute it. You can also uh, make it uh, softer or louder. And uh, so that'll be important for your design. And it, let's say you click out of your design in order to get back to the audio portion, just click this part right here. Uh, that's the audio that you added. And so now you can see it reappeared with the audio. So those are the easiest ways to add audio to your Canva design. And again, these are the uh, main ways that you can manipulate the audio. Uh, currently there are no um, fade in or fade out uh, options for uh, the Canva design. So just keep that in mind as you're creating your audio. Now, if you would like to upload your own audio to Canva, all you need to do is go over here to the left-hand side and click on Uploads. And it will show you the media that you have uploaded. So you can see the images that I've uploaded in the past. And then you can click, there's videos you can upload. And then right here, the third option is Audio. And so then all you will need to do is just go to Upload Media. And then uh, you can upload it from different places. If you have your Canva uh, account uh, tied to your Facebook or Instagram, you'll see other, uh, they'll have other options here. But I'm just gonna upload from my device. Okay, and that will pull up your file upload screen. And you'll just need to find the folder that your MP3 or audio file uh, is located in. I think it uh, will accept MP3 files as well as WAV files. And so go ahead and find it. I've got a twinkle twinkle little star file here I'm going to use. So I'm going to use this mp3 file, then open it. And it will upload to Canva. And now I can use this in any of the designs that I'm working on. So again, the same process works. So as you're working on your design, just click on the audio. And now... So you're able to hear the audio that was added to the presentation. And uh, you will notice that you can only have one audio file playing per... A design that you're working on. And the same is true, let's say I were to add a page to this. So um, if I were just go ahead and add a page, uh, the same audio file will play for both pages. So in order to uh, make a Canva design that will include several different songs, two or more songs, what you'll need to do is export this as a video. And so you'll download it and then it'll say PDF. Now you want to change that to an MP4. And usually it will ask you, it will, you know, give you the MP4 option. And now it will be a video. 
So if you go to download and it asks you to download with Canva Pro or Pan Download, uh, that means that there's some kind of paid element in your design. So you can see in this design, I've got this element here that has a, a watermark on it. So I'm gonna get rid of that design so that now when I go to download it, I can go ahead and download. So you can see, so that so this will be free to use um, as long as you don't have any paid elements in your design. And so now I can go ahead and I want to download this as an MP4 video. And you can see the download option is available. I'm gonna download that. When it is finished downloading, it'll bring up this uh, option. And so you can just press OK so that you can save it. So make click save file and then press OK. You will then want to go to your computer and then find the design that you downloaded. So here it is right here. And then I can just double click on that and it will open it. And you can see it was added, uh, the design was created with the music that I selected. And okay, so in order to, let's say I wanted to have two different songs in the same uh, design, what I would need to do is now upload that video. So I'm gonna go to videos, upload media, I'm gonna go to device, and then I'm going to find that. So I've gone, gone ahead and found the design, and I'm going to just click on it and then open. And so now this is a complete video already finished. And so now what I can do is just uh, drag this video into let's say the second page. So I'm gonna drag that and then I can resize it. So this way you can have two different songs included in your presentation. Again, you if you wanted more songs, you would have to just keep doing this process and adding pages with complete videos. Um, so with the with the music already uh, finished. Um, at this point, you know, if you have a free uh, video editing software, it might be easier to do it that way. This walkthrough is mostly designed for those who would just want to add maybe a, a soundtrack to the uh, design that you're working on in Canva. Now, uh, one other thing you can do uh, to make your video a little more uh, you know, interesting is they've got uh, certain elements that you can use and they've got these um, like stickers. And so if you look at the stickers elements, you can find things that are moving and then just you know drag and drop them into uh, your video. And then that way you've got some moving elements to uh, your uh, video that you're creating with audio. And again, because many, many of the designs that you're gonna create are going to mostly be static. And so you maybe wanna add a little bit of movement to them and that'll make them more interesting. Two more things that you might be interested in is when you go to the audio, uh, you can categorize these or you know filter them in different ways. And so let's say I wanna look for free ones, then I can do this uh, and um, you know find the free ones to use. And then let's say I um, wanted to look up other uh, you know filters, uh, things that maybe are happy or bright. Um, it will give me uh, different options there. And then you wanna make sure that um, uh, whenever you're uploading music that you have the rights to the music that you upload. Like, so I uploaded Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and um, so that's public domain, but you wanna make sure that you, whatever music you're using, that you have the rights to use that music um, with Canva. Lastly, you can also connect your account to your uh, other accounts, such as your Facebook and your YouTube account. And that makes it easier for like um, songs that you might purchase through Canva. Uh, if you purchase a song through Canva, they can connect it straight to your account. And so um, you know that you have the rights to use that, that song and uh, everything is kind of clear uh, with uh, the, uh, the music that you selected. You now know how to add music to the designs that you're creating in Canva. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other tutorials on the free tools available to musicians that you can use, uh, and I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.